Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagements. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Bam Bam. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of five wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Black Mamba. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Inside the octagon. Bro. Oh! Whoa! Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Big that knee lands there. That knee hurt. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he got a bad. Oh, look at him jumping and in. That's gonna do it. Herb Dean steps in. He's done, he's done! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Yes, sir, it goes into the books as a first round win by knockout, near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit. Those strikes can have a bigger effect and it certainly did here tonight. inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more. He is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 44 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Black Mamba. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.